I freaked out I told my husband we needed to go to the hospital. Hello there, welcome to Redditor, where we shamelessly ask you to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it, and where we say to smash the bell and hate ourselves for it, while we go down an existential crisis mentally that slowly eats away at you day after day, video after video late night of editing after late night of editing, until one day they find you on the roof barking at traffic with your underwear on your head blasting turn down for what from a speaker stuck in your, whoa, sorry blacked out there for a second, anyway, on with the video, enjoy r slash just no mother-in-law Mother-in-law refused to do as instructed and skips my 5 year old insulin injection Advice wanted My baby boy was diagnosed with type 1 Insulin dependent Diabetes Our lives haven't been the same ever since We've been struggling with accepting his condition as the new normal while trying to learn as much as we can and be able to provide our son with the best care and minimize the occurrence of hypoglycemic events. We live with constant fear of hypoglycemia slash hyperglycemia. And we could not escape the reality that one small misstep could lead to fatal outcome and to prevent long-term complications. He needs to get his blood suture checked three times a day before giving him his injections. We do this based on pediatrician instructions. We also avoid getting him exposed to large groups of people or taking him places to visit family and friends during the pandemic. We are taking necessary precautions to ensure he doesn't get an infection due to his weak immune system. My husband and I are on a limited income. My husband has PTSD and stress related health issue. He no longer go out with friends. He cannot focus on his job. He has become distressed and would get angry very easily. I forced him to get treatment for his PTSD. If he wants to be strong for his son. He has only recently started taking medication and we are hoping he'll get better with them. When my mother-in-law found out about our son's condition, she wanted to be in the center of it. She started directly getting involved in everything. Wanted to be there for doctor's appointments just out of concern made backhanded comments about how poorly I'm handling my son's condition. She even said once that this happened to us after my husband and I stopped going to church on Sunday and that it will get better if we start attending again. I take care of my son's health, I make sure his blood suture is controlled and his injections are taken on time, I watch for any candy and treats that are not good for him and try to insert vegetables and protein into his diet. Last week, my husband and I were attending a group therapy, then my husband asked if we could both go someplace quiet and eat dinner, I said yes, we dropped our son off at my mother-in-law's house, I've given her new syringes and the insulin bottle, alcohol wipes with finger pricks and other stuff I bought from the drugstore that day. My mother-in-law has experience and has been trained to give insulin shots and learned how to do it properly, however we haven't visited in a while. She made a comment about how skinny my son is because of this diet that we are following. I told her we are just following the doctor's instructions. She said that apparently the doctor isn't doing a good job. She complained when I told her that he needs to get his blood suture checked. Give him insulin injection before each meal and no treats or cakes. She said okay and we told her we would call to check on him. At around 6pm we came to her house to pick him up. He looked sleepier than usual she said, probably because he was playing with the dog all day. I asked if she did as she was instructed, because that was very important to me. She said yes. We said goodbye and left. We got home. All my son wanted to do was sleep. He fell asleep on the couch as I was preparing dinner. My husband tried to wake him up, but he looked like he was dizzy, nauseous, and sweaty. My husband was concerned he told me something was wrong. I ran out the kitchen. My heart was pounding. I asked my son if he had his insulin shots and what he ate at his grandma's house. He was clearly not a 100% focus. Which freaked me out he said no. He didn't take his insulin shots. I quickly pricked his fingertip to know what his blood sugar level was and it was 300 mg slash dl. I freaked out I told my husband we needed to go to the hospital because my son didn't take his insulin shots like he was supposed to. We rushed him to the hospital I was terrified the doctor told us it was hyperglycemia they started treating him in the emergency room, administered insulin and inserted IV fluids to rehydrate him. 
and kept monitoring and checking his blood suture every 15 minutes. I was so terrified and angry at the same time, my husband called his mom and literally started yelling at her and telling her that our son has been taken to the emergency because of her recklessness and ignorance. She lied about giving him his insulin dosage, the insulin bottle hasn't been touched, but she got rid of the syringes to make it look like she did give him his injections. My husband argued with her for 10 minutes he finished by saying he was taking her name off the emergency contact list because he does not trust her anymore. What she did was wrong and dangerous, my baby needs insulin to survive, and despite having given her enough information about the seriousness of his condition, she decided he was thin, so he doesn't need insulin, and needs more food, more carbohydrates and more suture, and skipping a couple of insulin injections won't be a problem. She doesn't fully understand my son's constant need for insulin to stay alive, it's that serious. But she chose to be an ignorant about it and handle it poorly. Lying about it then admitting it and coming up with an ignorant excuse is what led my husband to this decision. She's officially off the emergency contact list and she isn't happy with that. She's calling my phone winning about how it was unfair and that she didn't know. Her task was simple, follow my instructions, but she did this deliberately, she thinks these are my rules not the doctors, so she went against them. Thank god I'm blessed with a caring, understanding doctor who literally saved my son's life, I'm grateful to him for comforting me and reassuring me that everything will be fine, I honestly don't know what I would without such love and support from the whole staff. Whoa, you made it to the end? Nice. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like. I'm a new channel, and it helps a lot more than you think. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.